Oops, we did it again. We got a new camper. Stay tuned to the end to see what we got. Okay, so are y'all ready for this? We're gonna give you the rundown of all the campers that we've had and uh, our whole camping history pretty much before we get to our latest camper. So this should be kind of fun and exciting and uh, just kind of going back uh, down memory lane here until you see our latest and greatest. It's gonna be cool. Yep. So our very first camper, or at least I should say my first camper <laughs> was a 1971 Compact Junior and uh, and this was before Carl and I got together. We knew each other long before uh, I got this camper, but um, before we started dating. And uh, so I found this uh, 1971 Compact Junior. It was a fiberglass camper, and I found it on the side of the road in just some parking lot, and it was for sale for $500. So, and, and I was doing a lot of off-roading uh, with my Jeep at the time, and I wanted something to uh, hook up and take uh, to the mountains or wherever I was going four-wheeling. So so I found this camper and I, I bought it and I took it home and it stunk terribly. It was so bad. And uh, so I'd started cleaning it that day. I power washed it and and, uh, and then I started getting all the junk out of the inside it, uh, from the inside it. And uh, just cause it stunk so bad, all the cushions and everything. And, and I took everything out that I thought maybe I could get out to help clean it up and help it smell better and it wasn't enough I had to keep going so I started tearing it apart and I started I pulled everything out of it I took it all the way down to the frame I pulled the body off the frame and I took all the cabinets out I, I gutted the whole thing Just, I'll show you pictures I'll show you some pictures in here so uh I don't have any video of it's that. It's actually but. kind of amazing. It's an amazing renovation that he, it took him a long time to do it. So. Yeah, it, it took me a while. Uh, and this was, I think, in 2008, I believe, is, is when I got this camper. And uh, so I tore it all the way down to the frame. I added some support frames, uh, bars onto the frame and uh, painted the whole frame, redid it, and put the body back on it, put a new floor in it. I redid all the cabinets, relined the, the cabinets, um, new cushions, um, new countertop. I took out the old stove gas cooktop that was in there and I just put an electric uh, uh, burner thing on there and uh, so just that you could move it in and out. So that was the very first camper. So uh, I used it for a while and it was just me at the time and uh, with my off-road club and I used it and, and it worked well, it was real lightweight, so I could pull it behind a Jeep. And the top of it popped up, and uh, so it had like an extra foot and a half. And I could, with the top lowered, I could fit it into the garage, which was really cool. And uh, just yeah. a standard garage door, I could just put it right under, so. Yeah, if he would have had it when we started dating, we probably would have had it quite a bit longer because we started camping more whenever we got together. So. Yeah, that, that's right, I mean, I, I wish, <laughs> that I still had it, even just as a secondary camper. I just, yeah. it was the coolest thing and I put a ton of work into it and I wish I never sold it. And uh, actually the guy I sold it to like a year or two later, uh, called me up and asked me if I wanted to buy it back. And at the time I wasn't really ready and so I missed out on that opportunity. Yep. But um, so uh, next up, Carl and I got married and uh, yep. got started dating and got married and decided we wanted to go camping again. So we needed something to camp in and, and um we, Todd had a small tent. Um, we I don't even think we tried to camp in that. Uh, but anyway, his mom and well, his parents ended up getting this, yeah. this gigantic tent yeah. that um, it was like a tent dominium or whatever. And um, we tried to take that uh, to our off-road club had an event. We tried to take it and take Taylor with us, and it didn't quite work out with her in a tent. She was kind of like a Tasmanian devil. Yeah, in she's like going around. <laughs> you can probably look crazy from the outside. Yeah, and then the noise is at night, so so we just couldn't do a tent, not with Taylor. I mean, we could uh, alone, and we actually have uh, once since then used that tent when we went off roading. But uh, yeah. for the most part, we use campers now. So, so. yeah, and um, 
So that leads us up to, we decided, we, we actually kind of started looking at campers at that point because we thought, you know, maybe there's a chance that we could get something smaller that we could tow with the Jeep. And we ended up getting a A-liner, which, you know, I've, I think I've talked to a few people in our club, in our, in the fiberglass community who actually had A-liners as well. So. Yeah, we loved it. Uh, it was, it was a 2002, I believe. And uh, we picked it up for pretty cheap at the time. And uh, it needed some work and I, I put a lot of work into it, which it yeah. seems like I tend to do. <laughs> and uh, so I told, I, you know. I, it's that perfectionist. I know, <laughs> I, I took all the skylights off and resealed them. I did a bunch of stuff to it. But um, it was great. We really enjoyed that camper. I mean, the way that that roof pops up like like that, it, uh, it makes for a lot of height in there. Uh, yeah, you know, and it, it really seems a whole lot roomier than what it would appear to be from the outside. Yeah, and we don't really have any videos of that one, but we have a few photos that we took. Um, when we first got it, Taylor got in it. She was so excited. It was kind of weird, but it was like she knew, you know, she was... Like she knew she was going camping or something. It was weird. <laughs> she was all excited about it. She, she didn't like the tent, but she liked the camper. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that leads us up to, we, we still had the A-liner, but I guess we were still kind of looking and going back to his fiberglass camper yeah, experience. Yeah, because I loved the fiberglass. Yeah, and he kind of talked me into that. I mean, I still would probably be camping in a tent had it not been for him and Taylor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, I, now I probably couldn't go back full-time to a tent. So we got the Casita and that was a 06. That was an 06 and that largely came down to, well, we want a bathroom. Yeah. You know, as everybody says, you know, cause our A-liner did not have a bathroom. That's right, I forgot about and, that. And uh, you know, when you gotta get up and take a leak in the middle of the night and uh, you know, go hike over to the bathhouse, you know, that really sucks. Yes. So, <laughs> so that is no fun at three o'clock in the morning. Actually, so, I think that I really wanted a bathroom. So yeah. yeah. So we're like, okay. So I started looking around a little bit, and and I was like, you know what? I've seen casitas for years, and I love casitas, and so we just kind of started looking for one. Yep. And, and Todd found one on Craigslist, and it just happened to be a few miles from where we lived. So yeah, that's right. Matter of fact, we were in Key West the first time. Uh, and and I found it online when we were in Key West, yep, if you remember. That's but right. but uh, and I contacted the guy. I said, "Well, we're going to be home in a couple of days or whatever." And the next day, and uh, so it, we we lucked out big time. He was literally like ten miles from us. Yeah. So um, so I went over and looked at it, and it was in great shape. It was in really good shape. I mean, it. The guy had not. We don't even think he really. Uh, used the shower or anything in it really he he used it for like some sort of motorcycle get-togethers or something where he I think he may have been a salesman to yeah, sell a motorcycle some, or something uh, yeah I, I think know. motorcycle insurance or something so he kind of traveled with it you know for work events and he was he was down like down in his health and so he was uh, ready to sell it and we made an offer and yeah made an offer and it worked out Mm -hmm. And uh, we were excited about it. The inside of it was in fantastic condition. The outside of it, he basically kept it at a storage facility outside. And so it was real chalky and yeah. uh, it needed it. had never been waxed or polished or anything. So we did have um, that professionally polished and waxed by the guy. By that, Tyler. By the Tyler guy, yeah. that did the, the late, that video that we did on the uh, the Northern Light, the 05. Yeah, so he's done um, he's done all our campers. Yeah, so, <laughs> so he, he did a phenomenal job on that. Yep. And uh, so we really enjoyed the Casita. We love the Casita. We put a lot yes. of work into that. Yes, as well. we did. And even though the inside was in perfect shape, you know, we can't leave well enough alone, so. <laughs> That's right. We and we and so we we did a little camping in it. And then we decided, well, you know what? We went to a rally or two. And we're like, you know, we need to do something to this, and you know, start yeah. doing some renovation. And then we 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 got into it kind of deep. Kind of went crazy. And uh, <laughs> and put a, put a lot of work into that, and redid yeah. the cabinets and the flooring and you know the outside and you know all, all sorts of stuff. It looked beautiful when we got rid of it. It really did, and and. Uh, Maybe someday we'll see it, you know, at a rally or something, we're hoping, but we yeah. haven't run across it yet. So. That's right. The, the people uh, lived, you know, about four or five hours from us, but mm -hmm. we haven't seen them at any rallies. But uh, Yeah. You know. 
so we'll we'll show you videos of that or and also link to the the video of it before we sold it yeah we, we did make one video of it that's actually why we started youtube yes. so we wanted to <laughs> document the, that casita because we loved it so much and we and uh, what we did to the inside of it, uh, we really, uh, you know, liked it and enjoyed it. So I hate looking back to those first videos that we did, yeah. though, because I feel stupid. But <laughs> yeah, it's, the video is kind of rough being our first video. But if you want to see the the casita look back, uh, it'll be Carlo will put it up here or wherever it is, and or we'll put it down below. So check that out. But yep. uh, so the casita was a lot of fun. We still love the casitas and love to go through them and see them at all the camping rallies. So yep. So then Todd was Todd has a problem. He has an addiction to Craigslist. <laughs> yes, I do. He does. He like gets up so. every day and looks at it. But yeah. anyway, so he found this Bigfoot. Uh, and actually that was on RV. That was on RV Trader. RV Trader. Actually. Well, he has an addiction to RV Trader too. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he found this Bigfoot and he sent it to me. And we had kind of been looking at him because we had seen him at rallies and we really liked them. But I never really thought too much about it. And then when he showed me that one, I was like, yeah, right. I'm like, it's in Pueblo, Colorado. And then I'm like, hmm, the 4th of July is this upcoming weekend. We can get it. We, we can drive out there. <laughs> you can take a couple extra days off or and one extra day or whatever it was. And, and uh, yeah, so we decided to go for it. And the main reason, I mean, even though we loved our casita so much. Was the shower. Was it had... The, the dry bath, which was, because we never took a shower in the casitas. The bathroom was just a little snug for me. Uh, just the overall height inside the casita mm -hmm. uh, just didn't seem very tall um, for me. I'm six foot, so um, I just I was always bumping my head on he stuff. He kind of had to and, lean you know, over in it when yeah. he was using the restroom, so, yeah. you know, if that tells you anything else. Small it was. So, I mean, as much as we loved it, we're like, you know, let's just kind of look for something else, something, you know, a little bit bigger, you know, if a Bigfoot pops up, then, you know, maybe we'll seriously think about it. And this one, the one that we had, the 2008 popped up. And it was in great shape when, well, no, I, I take that back. Todd ex had exchanged some emails with the guy out west at Boardman RV, which it actually turned out to be a, a great transaction, but, um, he sent us so many photos of every single thing on the camper, and Todd felt comfortable enough to say, you know, let's go for it. So we did. Yeah. And then so, we got our Bigfoot. So before we know it, about three days later, we were on our way on a 1,400 mile trip to Colorado. <laughs> it was fun, though. Yeah, we had a good time. Fun. It was kind of like a little adventure, and we'd never really done anything like that. So we got to visit uh, Todd's cousin Suzanne and her husband Chris and, yeah, on and the St. Way Louis back. And yeah. on the way back, and that was kind of cool. And, and, you know, we did a little camping along the way back. So it would have been awesome if we could have uh, camped our way back, you know, mm -hmm. just kind of taking some time. But we didn't have the time to do it since we we're still working and Carl had to get back to work. Yep. And uh, so, you know, we we got out there and we got back. But we do love the Bigfoot campers. We were so yes. impressed with that camper, the the way it's built, the construction of it. Um, you know, it's just so well so insulated and it was roomy as, you know, yeah. we love the 21 RB layout. It just, it just worked for us. Yes. And, uh, and ours had the, the extra storage box in the front, uh, and a generator underneath, which was kind of a bonus. We didn't really weren't use it that, that much. We weren't mm -hmm. looking for it, but since it had one, great, you know, yeah. and it ran on the propane and two thirty pound, uh, propane tanks. And so maybe at some point in our future, we'll go back to a Bigfoot 21 RB because we absolutely love that camper. We really did. And the front storage box was great and everything about it was great. So, you know, that's a possibility. But so we have moved on to truck campers, as most of you guys know. We're not afraid of change, you know. <laughs> That's uh, just that's the way it's been. Uh, you know, I, I kind of force Carla to change sometime. Like, yeah, hey, hey, let's, you know, try something else. <laughs> So it, <laughs> and it's, I do, and then I like it. Yeah, so. it, it's usually my fault, and then we end up <laughs> liking it. So I don't know how we, exactly we got on the truck camper I know, kick because every time we would go camping at Lake Lanier or Lake Alatuna, which are two places close by, he'd be like, well, "I wish we could take the boat too," and I'm like, "Well, I could try to tow the boat. We could have a trailer hitch put on my car, and I could try to tow the boat, but it wouldn't quite work. It just didn't quite ever." 
work out. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And especially if we're going very far, then you want to bring two vehicles and, you know, two trailers and, you know, and that sort of thing. It's kind so of, it's that's how hassle. we ended up with this camper that we're sitting in yeah, right now, which right. is... We are in the 05. The 05 Northern Light. And we, we haven't camped a ton in this one, but we have loved it. I mean, we, we really have. We've enjoyed camping in it. We had a few issues along the way during our trip this summer this past summer or fall really yeah. and um, yeah, fall, October. We, we worked through those they were just you know i think it was plumbing issues from the camper sitting up for so long is what i think happened but, yeah but yeah. that was a, a nine day camping trip that yeah. we took in it and so we we got to know it pretty well and uh sorry for not putting any videos out during that time but we were working through all that stuff so. yeah we we just <laughs> That week that we were gone, we just really didn't film that much. We just kind of just enjoyed going out and going camping and uh, met up with Patrick and Patty uh, from Travels with Delaney yeah. uh, at the end of that week. And, uh, and that was that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, get to camp out with them and uh, just to, you know, check out and try out the, the truck camper life. And, and I really enjoy uh, hauling the truck camper around versus pulling a trailer. Um, after that experience, I was like, "Wow!" I was like, "This is, this is really nice." You it's can like, park anywhere, just about. I mean, you you can pull in. Like when we were bringing our Northern Light home, we went to Chick Fil A, and Todd pulled like a place where you normally couldn't go in. It was in Pell City, Alabama. If you guys know of it, there's no way we would have been able to get in with the Bigfoot, not in Park Two. And we just whoop pulled right into a spot, and he was like, "Wow!" I was like, "Wow, this is cool." <laughs> you know, what I mean, a packed parking lot. I just found a. Yeah. Spot, you know, of course, on the truck and all that, it's a little oversized, but, yeah. you know, pull in there, everybody, you know, work, give you a little space on each side of you, and, mm -hmm. and uh, we've done that several times now, and it's, it really is nice. You don't feel, especially of a bigger, you know, the bigger the trailer that you have, the, the more trailer wag, uh, you know, that you're going to get, the tail wagging the dog kind of thing, and you don't really notice that. And, you know, truck camper's different. You get a little top heaviness. Uh, you can feel that sometimes, but you kind of get used to it. And uh, we had uh, the dually at the time, and which we don't have any longer. And a dually, I, I think, ideally is the way to go with a truck camper. Yeah. But they can be uh, done on a single rear wheel, and which is what we have now. And oh, and now. and uh, when we went camping a couple weeks ago and tried that out, it it worked real well. Yeah. And uh, that can be a whole nother video on, on, you know, single versus dual re rear wheel. But And we've got to work through some, like, stability stuff. I mean, adding, like, some, what are those things called, stable loads? Well, or, or well we, we did add some timberins yeah, on the back, and that helped uh, stable the load significantly. Um, I'll have a video coming out on that as well. But, uh, so, anyhow, uh, the truck camper thing, we just thoroughly enjoy the truck camper thing. Yeah. And, you know, it's 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 surprisingly large inside yes. i mean it, it's very roomy we have a, a regular queen size or a full queen size bed a is, 60 by 80. which is awesome and very comfortable this bed is so comfortable we loved it when we were on our camping trip i mean it was yeah. it was great and i think that you know the froley that we put under it i think that helps a little bit and mm. then we got a topper on foam it too. topper on there yeah, too so, foam topper is always key i think for so, camping yeah <laughs> yeah it yeah. is so that um, so we like truck the this truck camper so much that we and we weren't really even looking for another camper, but you know us, <laughs> Todd was we were we were sort of like scrolling through RV Trader, and this camper popped up this this it our was new a, one our new one, it's a 2019 uh, Northern Light 10 2 and it was like. Un the price was unbelievable. Like, I'm like, there is no way this price can be real. Yeah, and it, it was a great price, and <laughs> it, it was hard to believe. So we we're like, well, you know, let's <laughs> let's go for it. You know, let's because let's try we, it. We had just sold the Bigfoot, so we had that money, and it what wasn't much more than the Bigfoot than what we sold the Bigfoot for. Yeah, I mean, so it it just yeah, the it, timing worked out. It was perfect, it really well. Um, actually, we found it before we sold the Bigfoot. Yes. And uh, we put a deposit on it. We're like, you know, let's, let's let's go for it. And then, and we sold the Bigfoot quickly. And um, and this was at Mountaintop Motorsports in Troy, Missouri. Which, how far is it? It was like 600 miles. And there's no way we could have. Go I mean, we may have been able to go. It was the weekend that 
before the weekend that we were planning our Christmas camping trip and we had like been planning it forever. So we really wanted to do that and we really didn't want to have to drive to pick up the camper. So um, I put a call out on Facebook and um, on, I think it was the Northern Light Group, it may have even been the Southern States Truck Camper Group, but asking if anyone knew anyone that hauled truck campers because I could not, we ha we went on all these, all these load Places and tried to see transport, if we could transport places. Companies, yeah. See if we could find somewhere to haul to haul a truck camper to us. We could not find anything. Yeah, there's plenty of transport companies that'll haul a travel trailer, a yeah. fifth wheel, or whatever you got, except for a truck camper. There, that most of them aren't equipped with the special brackets you got to have to, and tie downs and that sort of thing. And yeah. So anyway. Um, Dave Hofert, and I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, most of the people with Northern Lights know who he is because he's with DNH, um, DNH in Nor Apex, North Carolina, yeah. and then they also have a, have one in Florida. DNH um, RV, I think. Yeah, I something like that. But um, I'll put a link to his thing below because he helped us out immensely. He recommended his guy that hauls his uh, Northern Light truck campers and the guy's name is Tommy. If anybody wants to know, wants anyone in the Southeast to haul their truck camper. He's or the haul, man. He is the man. And I have his card. I have yeah. his information. He told me to, you know, give it out, yeah. you know, to anyone who needed it. Yeah. So. He's, he's hauled a ton of truck campers. He knows what he's doing. And we had 100% confidence in him. And yeah. It wasn't super cheap, but yeah. I, I, it was it was reasonable right. because of we, we had the confidence to know that he was going to yeah. bring it to yeah. us. You get what you pay for, right? So. Right. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we paid a little extra to have him bring it to us, and, and it was worth it. And and uh, so if anybody is looking for um, a truck camper, they can look at DNH in North Carolina because they not only do they sell Northern Lights, but they sell other truck campers yeah. as well. And I think they may sell some travel trailers as well too. Yeah, I, I think, think they do, but yeah. uh, but they sell a lot of truck campers, and they're very knowledgeable as well. Yeah. Um. So that's it. That is our new uh, our new camper that we're gonna enjoy for quite some time I hope and uh, we haven't done so this is another thing we went on a camping trip to Vogel State Park and we had sort of planned on doing a reveal video during that trip but we were having so much fun and we were relaxing and just enjoying our new camper yeah that we did not film that video I mean so, we, we did film some stuff yeah but, we filmed some stuff we filmed a video but not the reveal yeah. video and then so. it rained that Sunday yeah and so um, we will do a separate video to, of a walk around of our new camper, but um, we'll just you know yeah. put s some little clips of, of the new camper in this video, and yeah. you guys can stay tuned to, to an upcoming video for yeah. the full walk around of it. Yeah. So our new truck camper, I'll I'll put some clips in there of that, uh, but like she said, we don't have a full walk around, but uh, <clears throat> we'll hopefully be doing that soon. And we're looking forward to going camping it again here at the end of the week. We're going to a rally down in Florida. And uh, so we're excited to go camping in it for our second time. Yes. And uh, the, the 2005 Northern Light that we're in will be up for sale. We haven't actually tried to sell it yet or anything, but... Uh, and, and um, there is nothing, this this camper is in better shape probably than, it's well, definitely better shape than when we got it, but. Well, yeah, by far. By far, but, you but know, I mean, it is, it it's, is. It's in great shape. It, it's come a long ways and we've done a lot of work to it. And yeah. it's uh, it's ready, ready to go camping in, uh, you know, right away, so. Yeah, there, there's a few things about this camper that the, the other one's just slightly bigger and Taylor can actually get in the bed easier because it has a step to the dinette and then goes up to the bed so mm -hmm. um, that's a bonus and then the shower is a little bigger in that one as well so just a few minor things but it was new and we've been working on campers so much we just decided that we wanted something that we didn't have to do anything to so. yeah we, we just wanted to do some more camping and not quite as much working on stuff although <laughs> i tend to find projects well, our but, New Year's resolution is to work on campers less and to camp more. Yeah, so. we'll still do some projects, I'm sure. Yeah, though. I'm sure we will. But uh, our new camper does have uh, a different layout. Yes. Um, so, and the height and, and the new newer model is a six foot eight interior, which I really like having that extra height in there. So uh, we're going to be enjoying that. But yep. uh, So that's it. 
that's our big oops for this year. <laughs> we're gonna, uh, that's our new camper. So uh, we weren't hopefully, really expecting it, but. Hopefully we'll have it for a long time. I, I, mean, I hope so, yeah. yeah. So that, that's the plan anyhow. So it's, you know, it's in great shape and we're ready to go camping and we'll, we'll do some mods to it and we'll show you those along the way. I, I got some things in mind that uh, we'll be doing uh, here in the future. So stay tuned for that. So that's our big news for now. So hopefully, uh, maybe we'll see some of you out uh, camping soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of our friends, we look forward to seeing uh, many uh, of y'all uh, here next week uh, down at the camping rally. So I guess that's it for now. So until then, we'll see you next time on Runway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.